Hello, I'm Dave and this is a bearded dragon, also known by its scientific name as Pangona. These are protected species in Australia. And the story has it that sometime in the early 1990s, somebody smuggled a few pairs of these out of Australia and started to breed them, and now making them one of the most popular reptilian pet on the market. They come from the dry parts of Australia and are mostly found in the shrublands. Beardies have excellent eyesight with full colour vision, but they don't see well in the distance. You can see this when they're feeding. Generally, the bug has to be moving before they'll attack it. The third eye on top of the head, it looks a bit like a blister. It is used to detect shadows and changes in light. It's great for warning of predators flying overhead. That little hole is one of a pair of ears. It works a bit like a drum. A thin, tight layer of skin or membrane vibrates to the surrounding sound. By lying on their tummy, sounds can be picked up from the ground. Overall, they have good hearing. Jagged, sharp teeth are designed for tearing at vegetation and crushing bugs. The front teeth fall out and are replaced regularly, whereas the back teeth are permanent and fused to the jaw. Since they come from such a dry country, their scales have evolved to keep liquids in the body and not let it escape. This means that they don't have to drink too often. They get a lot of their liquids from vegetation and from insects that they eat. When it rains, the scales on the head are formed to bring the water to the mouth like a little stream. Notice she has a stubby forked tongue. It's kind of similar to a snake's. This is slightly sticky and helps to scoop up insects. Recently discovered that these popular reptiles produce a venom quite similar to that of a cobra, but very mild and has no real effect on humans. If threatened, beardies flare out their throat, the beard turns black, the spikes become hard and rigid and the mouth is open. The body looks bigger. They look really fierce, especially when another bearded dragon comes to invade their territory. Now that head bobbing means he's serious. The spikes become very hard and if bitten by an attacker, will actually break the perpetrator's skin. During breeding season is the time that communication really comes into its own. Like when defending territory, the male uses a series of head bobs running around and giving the impression of being big and powerful, all in an attempt to woo the female. And if she's impressed, she will show submissive body language by putting her head to the ground. And that's when he makes his move. After about five to six weeks, she'll dig a little hole and there she will bury as many as 25 eggs. In most animals, chromosomes decide the sex of the creature, but in bearded dragons, higher temperatures can turn off the male part of the gene, resulting in them hatching out as girls. As it turns out, they become better mothers since they lay larger clutches of eggs. Telling the gender is not too difficult, especially after about six months. If you take a look here, these are pores which are used to leave chemical messages, and they're much larger on the male. There are two little bumps at the butt of the tail and these are called hempenal bulges and these are absent in the female. Thanks for watching. In the next vlog I will be meeting one of the world's deadliest scorpions and hopefully living to tell the tale.